So welcome to another video from EGIS Associates. So today we're going to do another unboxing video. This is going to be for a new laptop that I've got for a colleague of mine here at EGIS Associates. I uh, was going to get him a, a, a new desktop, kind of like what I built for myself with the Ryzen system, but he, uh, he travels a, a bit, um, not unlike me, but travels a bit in his old laptop, which was an old MSI laptop, uh, was starting to really show its age. It was uh, probably, a, probably a four, almost five-year-old laptop now. So he was starting to have some issues with it. it. needs to be completely reloaded. So went and decided to go ahead and buy a, a new laptop for him. So we went uh, with a Dell. Uh, Dell laptop. It's a G, let me check my notes over here, G5 um, gaming laptop that we, we got and primarily got it because, well, um, we have a credit account with Dell, so it made it easy. Don't have to pay the money out right up front. So let's go ahead and open up the, the box and see what we've got inside. So got our, our box that arrived today via FedEx, uh, which arrived in one piece. I was very happy. I actually left a note on the front door because I went out to, to lunch um, and told them to go ahead and leave it in the garage, which they did. And so that was very, very nice. I was afraid I was going to have to be here. So we'll crack open the box. I thought I had gotten all of the packing tape released in here. Let's see what... Uh, it's always nice when things don't go quite as expected. There we go. Okay. So obviously a good strong cardboard box that came in. Open it up. Um, we immediately got a little sticker here. It says we're here to help. Uh, if you need any help set up or anything else, simply contact Dell Support. So inside of here, to get to the laptop, ah, get that open. Looks like we have, we'll start with this, our bag of accessories. So we have a power cord and then the power supply or power brick on there. So not too, too big, too bad. Uh, let's see, one, 100, 240 volts, 50, 60 hertz at 9.23 amps. Um, and a 9 volt, 19.5 volt output on this. So, okay, so there's our power brick on the side. And then next to here, we start to have the laptop. So we got this uh, egg crate, I guess, type material supporting the laptop. And then the laptop comes out and get the box out of the way now. And also included, we have our warranty and safety information. Yay, and our quick start guide for this. So standard connect the power adapter, press the power button, finish setting up the operating systems, create a recovery drive, and so on here. And then features that are associated with the laptop. So uh, the, the specs for the, the new laptop, and pull the spec sheet back up from down here where I got it. Um, so let's see here, what do we have? We got 16 gigs of, of RAM in here. That's DDR4 to, uh, to uh, 2666 megahertz uh, RAM. So not the fastest in the world by any stretch, but not too, too bad. An eighth generation uh, Intel Core i7 8750H processor uh, with six cores, nine megabytes of cache, and up to uh, 4.1 gigahertz of uh, clock speed with the turbo boost enabled. Uh, also included in here is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 video card. So it's got dedicated graphics on there, which we need for all of our GIS applications. Uh, this is also uh, going to potentially be running uh, CAD, AutoCAD, um, uh, packages on it as well, so that'll help support it. It's got six gigabytes of DDR5 video memory on it, uh, Windows 10 on there, 64 bit, and it's got the 15.6 inch uh, display that supports 1920 by 1080 
uh, graphics. Uh, from hard drive perspective, it's got two. It's got an NVMe boot drive at 256 gigabytes of storage there, and then a one terabyte uh, standard SATA hard drive in it. So pretty, pretty beefy machine. So we'll go ahead and open it up here so we can see what it looks like out of the plastic. So now the, the laptop that's replacing the MSI was actually a 17 inch uh, display. Uh, colleague Nathaniel Keith is his name, uh, wanted something a little smaller, easier to travel with. So we got the 15 inch display. So before I open it up, let's take a look at the outside. So just a standard black case, nothing fancy, big Dell logo in red. On this side, uh, we have some of our IOs. Let's see, we have our we'll zoom in so on this side let me see what we got here we got our power connector in there our LAN connector a uh, USB port and an SSD connecting or a port on the side and then on this side we've got an HDMI port a it looks like a type 3C USB connector with Thunderbolt, and then two more USB connections and a headphone jack on this side uh, here. So in the back, we've got our exhaust fans to dissipate all our heat. And on the bottom, we've got our intake here and here. Uh, doesn't look like it's got a, it's got a little pad risers to kind of keep it up off the desk to allow it to pull in air. Um, we'd like to see that raised up a little bit more, I think, to get better heat exchange in that, so. Anyway, we'll open up the laptop. Opens up pretty easy, not too hard. Get the protector cover off of there. And so now we see the insides of it uh, here. So a nice big touchpad, two keys, uh, backlit keys uh, on here, which we'll see in a second when I go ahead and uh, plug it up. We'll start it up for the first time and see that. As well, so let's go ahead and get it plugged up. So I'm going to pull the, the brick out here, power supply. Get that out of the way. Get this opened up, twist high off there so we have room. And pull the connecting power cable out of this bag here. plugged up we'll hit the power button and again see the I'm not sure if you can't see it but we got backlit keyboard so that helps working in dark hotel rooms or on airplanes or whatnot again this is a gaming system I started for pre-built systems like the Dell laptop here buying uh, gaming systems for my my team and staff because of their ability to handle higher graphics loads than traditional computers. I also find that um, they're actually a little bit less expensive than equivalent workstation PCs. So the, the gaming laptops, gaming systems seem to do that. Oh, there we go. Got Cortana piping in. Here, if we there, shut that we'll have your PC up. ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along. And we're going to shut Cortana up because I don't need to see, see that. but anyway so we got the setup process so i'm going to go ahead and run through that it's traditional windows process uh, then we'll get our software loaded and all that but i'm not, not going to show that in this video i just wanted you to see what you you got here well, with the new uh, g5 laptop from dell uh, again i've been running um, other dell gaming laptops as training computers for gis software they, they work fine Work great. Um, 
This spec here should be more than sufficient for running what we do with ArcGIS Pro, with ArcMap and Arc Catalog, as well as AutoCAD, uh, Civil 3D, um, I was going to say Land Desktop, but that's an old thing, Map 3D, uh, as well as Adobe uh, products. So Photoshop, uh, Nathaniel does Photoshop work for me. Uh, he also does some video editing with Camtasia and things, so I expect this laptop will be enough, uh, or more than enough for him to, to do all that with the, the specs on it. So. Okay, so go ahead and got our, our Windows configured on the new Dell laptop and ready to get things running. I've gone ahead and installed uh, our Arc software. So I've got ArcGIS Pro installed as well as ArcGIS Desktop 10.6.1 uh, on here and Cinebench to do a, a little bit of uh, benchmarking on it. So what we'll do now, uh, since we've got everything kind of installed and configured on the laptop, is jump in and kind of look at how well it performs doing various tasks. So We'll, we'll see how that works and what the results are. And so we'll go ahead and get that going. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start this one uh, with a Cinebench uh, benchmark testing. We're gonna run our CPU test first. So this is really going to put stress on our, our CPU, our processing unit, and really get an idea of how well it's going to perform under, under load. And this is a very common benchmarking tool. It's, it's a free tool that you know, anybody can download and, and use. I'll try to make sure to include a link to where you can download it in the, the video if you want to test your own system and see how well it performs. Okay, so We've, we've got it in there. We got a pretty good score. So now we're going to jump in and test out uh, the, um, the graphics processing unit using uh, OpenGL language. So this will really put that uh, NVIDIA card that we have in here to a test and see how well it performs, uh, again, under load. So pretty high you know, level 3D graphics here included in the, the Benchmark software. We'll see how many frames per second that it averages out while the benchmark is being run. So there we go, it's just about done. We should see our score in a minute. So they're well over 100 frames per second. Really good uh, for the system, very impressed with that. So let's see what we do with ArcGIS next. Okay, so we're gonna start with ArcMap here. I'm just gonna get it started and show you how quickly it starts on this machine. As I said, this is ArcMap 10.6.1. So we've Clicked our icon, and there we go. Well, it's pretty pretty darn quick to get that up and running. So again, just trying to show you what it, it how quickly it starts uh, on, on the system. What we're going to do now is close this out and go into ArcGIS Pro and really test the system out, because Arc Pro really does have a lot higher hardware requirements than ArcMap does. So go ahead and get it started. So you can see it's uh, launching here. And now we're up to the, uh, the initial screen, and we're going to go ahead and open a project that is one that I commonly use with uh, my training classes and with my Learning ArcGIS Pro book. So this project includes uh, both 2D and 3D maps, so it really should give you a good test of how the system performs under some at least basic graphic load. So we're opening up the project. See it's loading it in with the two maps we have open. Here we have both a 2D map and there the 2D map is coming in. You can see it pretty clearly now. And it's working still on that 3D map. So this is really where that uh, dedicated graphics card comes into play and, and really 
will show you the power uh, of that with, when we start looking at these 3D scenes. So go ahead and make it full screen so we can see it better. And now I'm going to navigate into that 3D scene a little bit. I'm trying to drive this thing using the touchpad on the laptop, so not quite as uh, smooth as a mouse would be, but gives you an idea as I'm panning around and rotating the views. Uh, you can see how well it's rendering that and how quickly it's responding to the changes in the display. So I'm going to go ahead and just open the catalog pane here and just open another map that's in the project. Again, just so you can see how quickly it's responding. This is another 2D map there. Uh, go ahead and close that back out so we're back to the two original maps that we were looking at. And just uh, again, kind of selecting and just kind of showing you the overall performance that this Dell system's giving us running ArcGIS Pro. Which, again, if anybody's ever run Pro, you, you really know what kind of power it takes to, to run this app. But when you have enough power in there, it, it goes pretty quick, pretty responsive, as you can see here. So, we're pretty good with that. Go ahead and close out our project and not save it. So, there you have it. You can see how well that ran. I think it was pretty good. With that, hope you've liked this video. Remember, uh, if you did, to give it a thumbs up, a like. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you get updates as we release new videos with new content and things of that nature. Of course, if you really like what you do, or what you do, what we do, there we go, if you like what we do, make sure to uh, become a patron of our channel through Patreon. Give us some donations there. And don't forget about our new merchandise store where you can buy things like this wonderful EGIS t-shirt. Uh, we also have, hope to have some other fun type uh, of uh, things uh, posted there on the merch store very soon. So with that, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks.